So this book shopping day was super special to me and I actually wanted to film outside but the weather and the wind in Paris was unbearable and I tried to and the wind was completely killing the microphone so <laughs> that was not possible and so we're back home where hopefully no neighbors start drilling holes and nothing happens and the world remains quiet um, and so yeah the reason why I went book shopping uh, on Saturday was because it was the 23rd of April and for those of know who are from Catalonia you may know, I mean, I hope you know, because if you're living there, you probably will see a lot of things happening that day. Uh, the 23rd of April, it is San Jordi, uh, St. George Day, and we celebrate Book Day and Rose Day and everything day. Uh, the tradition is that boys give girls roses and girls give boys books, and that's the way I had you know, that's the way I learned it. Uh, but from a very young age, I decided that I did not just want roses, that I wanted both. So every year I would get books and roses. Uh, it is usually between lovers, but what I really like about this tradition is that you can also give it to friends, to family. And today, uh, well, Saturday when I celebrated, I gave a book to my boyfriend. He gave uh, two books to me and a plant because I love roses, but they do die and I do not like seeing plants die, so I got a plant. So this is the plant I got and it is extremely beautiful and I really hope she grows to be, and I really hope she grows to be a beautiful plant because look at this beauty. Anyway, so San Jordi, uh, it is a huge day, like if you go during that time of the year, especially on that day and you're in Barcelona, you're gonna see the streets like this and it is super beautiful. I, since I moved to Paris, I decided to celebrate my own way and usually what we do on the day of San Jordi, if it falls on the weekend, because usually we work, uh, is that we, I select two, three, four bookstores and we visit those bookstores and I buy books. <laughs> That's it. Uh, there are some years where I managed to find a lot of books and I buy a lot of books, uh, but sadly, Saturday, it was not a lucky day. Like, I did see a lot of books I was interested, but I was not in the mood of buying them, so in the end I only got one book. Uh, but we visited three bookstores, and throughout this like vlog you're gonna see a couple, like, the three of them. Uh, the first bookstore we visited was... So, La Librairie Jusum, uh, it's like Located in like in, in Paris, there's like a lot of galleries where like it's in the middle of the city and it's passages and you go through them and it's like super cute. And so this library is located in one of these galleries, it's Galerie Vivienne. And it's very French, like you will find French old books and it's very small. I We couldn't go in because there were so many tourists and I was like, I'm not going to be able to film and uh, I didn't want to bother people, uh, so we just saw it from the outside and I kind of knew I was not going to buy any books there because usually the books that are in, this la in these bookstores are very like old style and I, I, I'm not interested in those books, I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, so we just saw it from the outside um, and it was beautiful and it was a good <laughs> touristic experience but in terms of books I cannot say much because I couldn't go in. So. Then the second bookstore we visited was the very popular Abbey bookshop uh, in Paris. Everyone talks to me about this bookstore. It's kind of like the second Shakespeare and Co. of Paris. And while it is extremely cute, adorable, and I loved being in it, it was disappointing. Like, they had a lot of books, but all the books were extremely expensive. Like, um, they actually have had a lot of books that I bought recently and it was like five to six euros more expensive than what I had paid. So I was a bit like, okay. Uh, however, what's really good about it, and I didn't spend a lot of time doing that because 
I was hungry and my boyfriend was hungry. Uh, they have a lot of used books. Um, and that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a very cute bookstore. If you're ever in Paris and you want to see this, uh, visit it. It's uh, very cute. Um, so yeah, like that was the second one. This tea is very hot. And so the last bookstore we went to was, um, what is it called? The Red Wheelbarrow. I had actually been there already. I thought I had not, but I have, I had, and it's very nice. I was actually surprised because when I went there last time, they didn't have any YA section and this time they did. So that's an improvement. I hesitated buying a lot of books there. They had um, Lemon, a book that I've been meaning to read for a long time, but it was very expensive. The prices for the hardback cover, like editions were like, ooh! Uh, so in the end I got one book at the Red Will Barrow, I'll show you later. And I hesitated between three, but I was reasonable and I only got myself one. But then we had lunch at breakfast in America with my boyfriend. And then we went home and we had a very fun Saturday. And then I got a lot of books from my parents and a lot of books from my boyfriend. And it was a great day. Now that I've said this, let's talk about the books. It's like all the books I bought since March. Was it March? Yeah. Like beginning of March, end of April. So basically books I got in the past two months. I'm gonna start with the first two I got. Um, we have two secondhand books. It is The Dinner Guest. Oh my God, this camera. The Dinner Guest by BP Walter and the World is Murder by Anthony Horowitz. Um, I got these two books because I read that both of them are very good mystery books and I was craving some mystery books and they were extremely cheap. Like this one, I think I got it for three euros and the dinner guest, I got it for like two. I do not know what this book is about. I do not know what this book is about. I honestly hate the cover of this book. Like what is this? It irritates me when this is like what 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 is this this one gets a pass because it's minimalist and it's straight to the point but um anyway both books seem very cool both books seem like the type of thing i will enjoy so maybe hopefully i'll read them at some point and uh you know that will happen uh then i got two chunk like a very chunky book and a book that i've been meaning to read for a long time and from an author that I actually like it's very funny because I own four books from this author and I have not read a single one and I know I keep buying books without actually seeing if I actually like the style of this author but here I am buying books so I got The City We Became by N.K. Jemish Jemison, Jemison. Uh, so this is the author where I keep buying books. Well, actually both of them because I haven't read any from the other one either. Uh, so I actually have the entire trilogy trilogy of the fifth element, the fifth season. The fifth element is a, is a movie. Uh, so I actually have the three, the trilogy of the fifth season, and I haven't read a single one. And then I saw this one and I got it because I just it was colorful and it was cool. I actually started reading it and then I got bored. And I was like, I feel like I'm not in the mood for this one. So I stopped reading it and hopefully I will feel in the mood for it. So <laughs> fingers crossed, because if I don't like that book, I feel like the other three are kind of doomed to begin with. And then another one I got, and this one is the chunky one. Um, and kind of like a wild guess too, because I haven't read the other book by this author, which I also own and it's like in that card right at the end. And it is To Paradise by Hania Yanagihara. Um, 
so the other book obviously if you know who this author is is a little life which i've been i'm compelled by that book i i'm afraid to read it but i'm afraid that so many people have told me that it's so sad and heartbreaking that i'm gonna be insensitive like i'm not gonna feel anything but at the same time i feel like i'm gonna read it and still gonna be miserable for like a month so i don't know so i got the other one that she released this year it's a it's a thick book. I kind of wanted the paperback, but then I saw it and I couldn't resist and I was like, why not? So I got it. No idea what this book is about. I just got it because everyone is reading this book and yes, whatever, it's mainstream and everyone is reading A Little Life and that's why I got A Little Life and I have no personality, but that's where I'm standing and I got this one and I got A Little Life and I'm gonna read both of them. And they're both very chunky, but I love chunky books. The chunkier, the better. And then we are rolling to Saturday, the books I got gifted and the book I bought from the Red Wheelbarrow. I'm gonna start by the book I bought because this is an actual book shopping day in Paris vlog and I actually only bought one. I bought for the sake of it, I'm just gonna say it. I bought these two uh, from Shakespeare & Co. Uh, because I love Shakespeare & Co. And I actually did not go for the book, book shopping because Shakespeare & Co. on a Saturday in Paris is suicide mission. Like, there's 30 minutes of queue no matter what time you go. And my boyfriend hates queuing. And I would not inflict that onto like anyone that doesn't like books as much as I do. It is basically torture. I usually go there during the week at wild hours. Like I go quick right after the job or I go at lunchtime. But to go on a Saturday is really like you're, you torture yourself. I actually went on a Saturday to both this. But I was alone. And when I'm alone, I don't care. I do not know where I got this to. Giver? I think I got them from Giver Joseph because they're second hand and usually I got I get second hand books from Giver but these ones I got them early March so I actually don't remember so I'd say these ones are from Giver Joseph which is a like a franchise of bookstores of, in Paris in France or La Fnac maybe I don't know anyway one of these two and then Saturday at the Red Wheelbarrow I got the book that <laughs> Again, I don't know, like, I have a, I have an issue. I need to stop buying books just because either the cover or because the title sounds cool or because I just see everyone talking about it. Like, there's like 70% of the books I read, I read them because of those two main reasons I said. Like, cover is cool and title sounds cool. 15% is because everyone else is reading it and I'm curious or because I saw them on TikTok. And then the other percentage, and I'm not going to do maths because I forgot the first one I said, uh, is authors that I know or books that I read what the actual book is about. And I go like, hmm, interesting. And yeah, so that's basically my reading. And this one <laughs> goes into the three categories of I like the title, I like the cover, I like the title, and I everyone is reading it. So I got it at the Red Wheelbarrow because also like it's red and I was like the Red Wheelbarrow, red, blah, 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 whatever, my brain. So I got this one, also it was reasonably priced, so I got it. Um, and I'm very excited to read it. I'm very scared to read it because I'm afraid it's gonna be very bad and I don't know. I have a good and bad feeling about this one, but hopefully it will be good. I'm looking at the sky too, maybe like pray to anyone that's out there to make this book good because I cannot take another disappointment from the internet. And then the books that I got gifted and I first got Cook As You Are by Ruby Tando. If you've seen my previous Fruit From Books uh, episode on Ruby Tando's Eat Up book, I said that I wanted to get this one and I'm super excited my mom, uh, my parents got me this one. It's a recipe book, but it's a recipe book like Ruby Tando does recipes, so she kind of explains a bit. And I started reading it a bit and there's like... There's a lot of recipes with lemon and citrus and I'm allergic to those, so I mean, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. But I'd say like 80% of the recipes, I read them like quickly and I was like, I want to have this for dinner today, right now. And so very excited about this one and I really, really like the fact that at the beginning of every chapter, she goes further reading and she recommends a lot of like books from other authors that are similar on the topic. I super love that. 
So that's Cook As You Are. Uh, really excited to try all the recipes. I'll probably feature a vlog where I talk about the, like I cook some of these recipes because they look all super good. And then the the last book that I got this Saturday for San Jordi and I'm super excited about it because there's a fourth one coming out this year. It is the second trilogy of the Mistborn series and it is so the Alloy of Law, um, Shadows of Self and Bent of Morning. I actually have read this one already but I read it like when it came out which is basically 2012. Ooh, 2011. So I read it when it came out in 2011 and needless to say, I do not remember a single thing from it. And when I saw that there is the fourth one of this series coming out this year in November, if I remember well, I was like, hmm, maybe I should buy the three of them because I read this one from the library and I own the, thir the first trilogy, so Mistborn. Um, so now I own the second one and I will get the fourth one uh, when it comes out. Honestly, it's been such a long time I don't read the Miss Morn trilogy that I cannot even explain what it is about. You know, I'm gonna read it. The thing is, like, if you haven't read Miss Morn, what I'm gonna say is not gonna make sense. But it's 300 years after Miss Morn trilogy, science and technology have marched on. Uh, Scadrial is now on the verge of modernity with railroads, blah, 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 blah. Yet, even with these advances, the magics of Alomancy and Furukemi, I've never said these words out loud, continue to play a role in this reborn world. Out in the frontier lands known as the Roughs, they are crucial tools for those attempting to establish order and justice. One is Waxilium Ladrian, a rare twinborn who can push on metals with his alumancy and use fairy chemi to become lighter or heavier at will. After 20 years in the Roughs, Wax must now put away his guns and assume the duties incumbent upon the head of a noble house until he learns the hard way that the mansions and elegant tree-lined streets of the city can be even more dangerous than the dusty plains of the roughs. That's what I remembered. And there is another... I don't remember the name of the other dude. Wayne. Max and Wayne. That's it. Um, so, if you don't know what Mistborn... If you haven't read Mistborn, Alomancy, Furukami, like Fairy Kemi, uh, push heavier all of this it's like oh what I highly recommend reading Mistborn they are the trilogy that made me love like I already loved fantasy but it's a trilogy that made me a full fan of fantasy um, and then I discovered Sanderson and then I fell in love with all, everything he does and uh, yeah so that's that's where we are this is dangerous business because I have a lot of books and the problem is like they're not the same size so this is gonna be extremely important to do Oh my god. Alright, so. Woo! These are, they're like, soup. oh my god, to paradise is so heavy. Anyway, so. This is my book haul. Anyway, I, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed everything I said. I hope you enjoyed seeing some scenes of Paris. And if you like the video as much as I enjoyed making it, do not forget to subscribe, hit that bell button, comment, like, spread the Tofukado word, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye!